Have you ever been on a really great flight? Or a really horrible flight? I'm ready to dedicate however many days of my life it takes to try every single airline in the country. It might take me a week. It might take me a month. My tombstone might be inside of a terminal. And believe me, the results will make some of you very angry. I am actually about to miss my flight. I don't know how I do this every single time. Here we go. And during this experiment, I'm gonna be putting my life on the line for you guys. Flight number one. I'm gonna be trying the same seat on the Alaska flight where the door flew off. An airline that only holds six people. Private jet for $200. And maybe most dangerous of all, Spirit Airlines. And just like that, we were on to our first airline, United. All right. I just have to follow three simple rules. Rule number one, I am not allowed to leave the airport system. I basically have to be in an airport or on an airplane until this entire thing is over. Rule number two, I have to buy the nicest seat the airline will sell me and I'm gonna rate my experience based on four factors. Price, comfort, service, something that I like to call the X factor. I wanna leave these airlines room to surprise me. And rule number three, all food, drink, bathroom breaks, sleep must occur on the plane or in an airport. Live by the plane, die by the plane. You're in for a long haul, man. <laughs> Before we knew it, we were descending. This flight was $332 for an exit row seat. The only thing truly remarkable about the flight was that it was delayed and everybody in the plane missed their connecting flights. They are running off of the plane. Now, obviously, I'm not doing this alone. I've assembled a team of specialists. Tyler, the Boy Scout, there is no environment that he can't survive in, which is exactly why I am leaving him at the airport. So I'm gonna be living in the airport for the next couple days, testing out all these lounges. All right. Oh, no way, they got a schlub machine. Anything that tastes good and isn't water is a schlub. Oh. Before rating United, I wanted to hear how Tyler's lounge experience was. Judging on the three factors of price, food, and comfort, it's a B tier. Given the delays, gotta go C tier on that. My next flight is with Horizon Air, and like most of these airlines, it's a normal economy seat. But I have to say, the flight I'm most excited about is my last flight because it has the most comfortable seat in the country. The first thing I immediately noticed when boarding Horizon Air was it was about 120 degrees inside. It is so hot. The second thing was that once everybody boarded the plane, they immediately asked us all to deplane. Flight to Germany, you have to take everything Two out of two flights so far delayed. This entire schedule relies on an extremely calculated flight plan and one delayed flight can throw this entire thing off. That's right, a delay like this could be catastrophic to our meticulously planned flight map. The only thing worse than a delay in my plan to hit all 28 domestic airlines would be... Bro, flight is canceled. Canceled. Do you know what that means? I have my friend Christina managing and booking all of these flights for me. I'm gonna call her with you guys so you can see how she reacts. Oh no. I just checked the app and it says canceled. Why would they not tell anyone about this? Two flights in, Horizon Air had already destroyed my meticulous plan which means I think that this is going to take longer than I thought it was going to I also have Jack he's completely unprepared and I'm sending him on a very special mission welcome to Jack's bathroom review to investigate the cleanliness of every bathroom on his flights very important how well this flushes I would say that's pretty quick B tier alrighty we are approaching the JSX jet I'm here to bring you guys the hard hitting truths of the JSX bathroom oh no melted Plastic one fly toilet paper. Embarrassing. The coveted blue blush. A couple of perfections here and there. JSX. C tier airline. I didn't think I would be delivering a scathing review this early, but Horizon, you're F tier. Terrible airline. New flight check. So I rebooked a new flight with SkyWest Airlines. Well, looks like it's about boarding time for me. Hopefully it's not delayed. Delays an hour from now. Sincerely apologize about this outside of the anybody's control. This is going so bad. Legitimately, the only thing keeping me going through these moments was the fact that I had the greatest domestic seat booked for the end of this trip, which I am so excited about. Regardless of my flight experience, I sent Tyler to the Alaska Lounge since SkyWest and Alaska were doing this flight together. My brother ate seven bowls of macaroni and cheese and was having the time of his life inside of this lounge. Staff was friendly. The food was bad, except for the mac and cheese it was ungodly he rated the lounge experience i think it's b tier given the delays and the comfort of the seats the plane seats it might be made out of concrete sky west is going d tier i am loungeless for the rest of the day i will say i'm getting pretty lonely i did get word from beans he might come visit me i'm hoping that's the case i am sad and i want to go home it's 8 15 p.m right now i'm gonna be flying all tonight all tomorrow so i'm gonna finish this i'm gonna lay down right here and i'm gonna disappear off the face of the planet i hope cameraman jack is having a good time today we're back with another airplane bathroom review pretty good water pressure nice and warm pretty good hand towels very clean we like this really got one ply toilet paper but i'm not mad at you one bit Pretty fast flush. It gets the job done. Eight here. And I had just enough time to catch about three hours of sleep. 4.35 in the morning and I just woke up. My next flight was with one of the most notorious airlines 
Southwest. Now, like any good unbiased investigative reporter, during this entire experiment, I was interviewing strangers on what they thought were the worst and best air lines. And here's what people had to say about Southwest. I like the boarding process. I think it's nice that you get your bags free. The snacks are fire. First of all, there's no sound. The water's free. The bathroom works. Something that kept coming up was... Some call it the death race. I agree. It's a competition to get the A-list. It's kind of fun. Basically, on Southwest, there are no assigned seats. So given my competitive spirit, I lined up just like everybody else in a race to acquire the best seat on the plane. We've done it. First row. This is by far the best seat I've ever gotten on a Southwest flight. And this super jacked guy got the seat next to me. Looking back at this, he looks so uncomfortable. I feel bad for him. Honestly, even though that Southwest flight was delayed four hours, I will say, however, the flight was only $221. I got the best seat in the plane. The flight staff were amazing. What Southwest lacks in their ability to show it to places on time, they gain back in the overall vibe. It's seats here. But the next airline was one that I have been warned about by every single person that I've interviewed. Welcome back to Mafia Moves. What is your least favorite airline? Spirit. 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 Yeah. Spirit. Spirit. They hit you with the secret taxes. I have not flown them, but I would still say they're my least favorite from, <laughs> what? from what I've heard about them. There may not be a more infamous airline in this entire video than Spirit Airlines. There's so many famous clips of fights breaking out, the most insane turbulence, potentially the least comfortable accommodations. They are on the very bottom of the list of America's favorite airlines, only beaten by Frontier, which we're going to be trying later in this video. But first, I need to get charged extra. The first thing I noticed when I walked onto this plane was that it was actually one of the newest and cleanest planes I'd been on so far. The seat had pretty solid legroom, but I cannot lie to you when I tell you I slept like a baby. From the moment of takeoff to the moment of landing, I woke up dazed and confused and before I knew it, I was walking off the plane. Listen guys, I don't know what magic just happened. That Spirit flight was the cleanest, smoothest, nicest staff I have interacted with this entire time. I cannot believe I'm saying this, but Spirit Airlines is B tier. Now, not only am I going to be reviewing every single one of these airlines, I've also prepared something very special. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. We have Flight Attendant of the Year Award, Best Captain Award, Coolest Person to Sit Next To Award. I'm gonna be giving all of these out during my journey at some point to a deserving recipient. Captain Award, Best Passenger. That's the plan. Could be you. I'm excited to see who gets it. <laughs> I'm telling you, these awards are a hot commodity out here. Contour Airlines. I actually have no idea what this airline is, so I asked this guy. What is Contour Airlines? We were a military charter, now we're a mainline airline. So just a regular airplane. No, smaller scale. You might be wondering what he meant by that. This was the real reaction of everyone in the bus when we pulled up the Contour's plane. We'll make fun of our plane. <laughs> That's right, this plane is comedically small. I almost feel bad for it. It turns out that Contour is friends with my next airline, Flying Finn. Because after this flight landed in Missouri, three people got off, and then the plane just took back off. The service was great because there were so few of us, but the planes were very small. I'm gonna give both of them C tier. My next flight is with Envoy Airlines, which is owned by American Airlines, which means that Tyler has a new lounge to review. I just woke up, I'm so tired. I am sad. The next lounge is open. It is $150, but what I will say is if you're gonna charge more money, you have to give more stuff, and that's exactly what this place does. I took a shower. I got a mimosa upon entry. They have a bar that's self-service. Oh yeah, I would come here just to eat. I'm gonna have to go ahead and give this lounge an A tier rating. I hope Eric has a good experience with the flight. This flight went by super fast. It cost me $463. And since I want this tier list to be unbiased, I asked Colin and Gavin to rate the airline for me. Definitely not because I got an entire row to myself and slept through the entire flight. It's definitely really comfortable. Not like crammed or anything. The servers were good too. Yeah, I'd give it A. A. Pretty good. Envoy Airlines B tier. And for somebody like me, somebody on a long-term odyssey through airports that he can't leave. I hit the jackpot. I am at a hotel. I've been waiting for a hotel that's connected to an airport to do two things. Number one, we found a gym in an airport. You don't understand why I'm taking working out so seriously. I'm about 600 days deep on a bodybuilding competition against my good friend slash arch nemesis. <laughs> And the competition that we've been working towards happens in exactly 15 days. I have been eating pre-made meals this entire time. And Alex is basically following me around wherever I end the day. No quit. This man has no quit. To drag me into the gym and make me work out. It's honestly been a pretty wild, emotional journey. Almost two years worth of filming to make this video. And it will be the next video that you guys see after this. The only thing that I'm more excited about right now is the second thing that I came here for. This is my first shower in two days, so this is really big for me. I'll see you guys in like three hours. It's day three. We're about 3,300 miles in. I am exhausted, but at least I've planted like 10 trees. I'm talking about the fact that I'm carbon offsetting this entire experiment. So by the end, we might have the Great Mafia Forest. Forest, forest, forest.
Sadly, I had to leave behind my life of luxury to get back to the mission. Where my next airline's mascot is a giant flamingo. Did it look cool? Why aren't you talking anymore? <laughs> Thank you, Monique. Thank you. Appreciate You're you. Welcome. Which means their airplanes are pink, the uniforms are pink, even the cones are pink. I was super excited about this airline. I love the aesthetic. Threw my bags in the overhead bin and sat down to enjoy my flight to Fort Lauderdale and my meal prep. If you guys didn't know, I love Taco Bell. Taco Bell! By far, you are my favorite drive through brand. And one of the cheat codes to eating healthy recently has been stealing a bunch of Diablo sauce. Please don't tell Taco Bell. We're back in the bathroom. This bathroom's nice. Push the button, pretty good. It is one ply, but it is quilted. At some point during Jack's bathroom reviews, he found a sign that said, Do not drink the water. And the level that he's about to take this bathroom review is a level so far beyond what I asked for or needed in this video. And I am genuinely sad that he did this. I kid you not. It tastes like mountain spring water. <laughs> Seems like Jack forgot to rate the airline. Jack, what do you think? I was going to give it an E for E. coli, but the staff was awesome. The snack game was awesome. So I'm going to give it an A. As a reminder, I still have all the awards that I plan to give out during this video. I honestly just have not found a captain or a hostess or a person to sit next to that deserves it. My standards are high. Randomly, the flight got delayed 10 minutes for equipment malfunctions. We are starting off the day with a delay. But after 10 minutes, they tell us 30 minutes. We're estimating about a half an hour. We do appreciate your patience and apologize for the delay. And then they ask everyone to get off the plane. Fort Lauderdale already. I wish. That was anticlimactic. After over two hours of waiting, I was still on the ground, but I wasn't the only one. I think we're going to be stuck here indefinitely. We're like Tom Hanks in the movie um, Terminals. That's what we are right now. We're never leaving here. After over three hours of waiting, they brought everybody back onto the plane. Imagine they make us deep plane again. And as the plane is going down the runway, I cannot make this up. Regrettably, same issue we had. Reappeared. We are going to have to go back to the gate. They stopped the plane mid-takeoff. Then they started playing this music in the airline like it was supposed to make us happy or feel better. This music makes me very angry. But I knew when I sat in that lay flat American airline seat at the end of this journey, I wasn't going to be angry anymore. All right, we made it to Fort Lauderdale this time. I wish. I cannot confirm or deny that this is an actual airline. Mafia, we are seeing a critical analysis of the airline industry right now unfold before our eyes. Silver Airlines unfortunately gets effed here. In the meantime, I have to find a new flight out of this airport. Backed into a corner, there was only one airline I could turn to. Frontier Airlines. On Forbes' list of the top 10 budget airlines, Frontier came in 11th. Debatably the most hated place in America. Let's find out what it's all about. So immediately when you walk up to the Frontier desk, you'll notice people stuffing their bags into these boxes. That's because a lot of these budget airlines Airlines charge you ridiculous prices for carry-ons. Given the reputation, I was pretty nervous walking onto this flight. I'm so scared. But as I walked onto the plane, there was one thing that was exceptional about this airline. Hey, Do you want to pose? Yeah. I'm going to sit right there. What? We're neighbors. It's meant to be. This is where I meet Tamisha. Tamisha's my seatmate, but more importantly, she's a Frontier Airlines flight attendant. I just graduated in January. It looks like we just pass out snacks and drinks, but I promise you we are fully trained assassins. <laughs> I believe it. At some point during the flight, Tamisha upgraded. We went from seatmates to taking selfies together, laughing together, but my friendship did come with one condition. I have to be an unbiased flight reviewer and ask the hard question. This airline is extremely controversial. Why do people dislike Frontier so much? People have bad experiences with the people. I'm here to make sure you guys are enjoying a good time. I don't know where you're going, what your situation is. We make sure that we are coming in our full energy and people get that and hopefully we can change their mind. Thank you guys so much. I passed out some Starbucks gift cards to the flight attendants because they were so nice to me. But I had something even more special in mind for Tamisha. Coolest person to sit next to award. That's for you. I was actually going to give her the best flight attendant award, but TSA broke that one in my bag earlier. And Tamisha said that she wanted both awards since she both was sitting next to me and as a flight attendant. And as Tamisha was delivering her speech, the plane landed. Thank you to my mother, father, to you. It's been a beautiful day. But Tamisha's speech didn't end there. If I can have your attention, please. Oh, no, 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 We'd like to no, point out a very no. special person sitting in row two. Raise your hand, Eric. No. Please give him a round of applause. He gave us a great rating today. Thank you for coming on board. Thank you for being a you. Given my last few days of sleeping on airport floors, delays, cancellations, having a flight crew as great as Tamisha and her coworkers was the push that I needed to keep going. Made this experience by far the best I had had over the past few days and set the bar so high for the rest of the airlines. That guys is why I do YouTube. If I should bring Tamisha into a future video, comment, bring Tamisha back. The only problem, this is the gate that my next flight was at, which I missed because that flight was delayed. This is going to make some of you so angry. But if it weren't for the delay of me missing this flight, Frontier would be S tier. I'm putting it in A tier 
When you walk around airports, you'll notice that Delta is the dominant brand. You'll see their signs everywhere, and it is most people's favorite airline. What's your favorite airline? Delta. I like Delta. Delta's premium. I'm about to take a Delta flight. What should I look out for? Their service. Comfort-wise, it's really good. I like the premium seats. I've only had, like, positive experiences. You get everything you want, plus more. All right, let's see what all the fuss is about. Everyone just looked at me when I said that. I'm getting way too confident in the airport. And flying Delta means that Tyler has a new lounge to review. I just took a shower yesterday. I'm gonna take another one. All right, Delta, time to see what you got. Finally, it was time to board. I had a Comfort Plus seat, which is the middle ground between first class and economy. And I immediately noticed that compared to Frontier, the vibes were completely different. I do feel really weird filming here because this is much more of a classy environment. It feels like Tyler should theoretically be in the Delta lounge right now, giving you guys a review. They got bagels, they got pastries. <laughs> they got a shloob tower. The shower was great, the staff's been great. This is an A-tier lounge. Hopefully Eric's flight was good. Now, given that my seat was named after Comfort, I tried to take advantage of all the amenities in the flight. They had an insane snack selection, multiple rounds of free drinks. I reclined my seat, I watched a movie. Delta would absolutely be S-tier if it weren't for the price, which brings it down to A-tier. Once again, I hit the jackpot at the hotel built into the Chicago airport where I immediately fell asleep. It is currently 9.24 p.m. I don't know what to do. The lounges don't start till tomorrow morning. I did pack some stuff though to make myself a little more at home. Sleeping bag and a pillow. Not much else to it. I, I don't want to be here anymore. I woke up on day four and being alone is really starting to hit me. Most of the time I actually have no idea what city or what airport I'm in. I am not going anywhere. I'm just here by myself. In a lot of ways, I'm like an astronaut on a long-term mission to the space station. Just out here in purgatory on my own. own, own. To start the day, Jack and I marathoned a handful of mediocre flights. Republic Airways. New Pacific Airways. Delta Republic. Delta Connection. Things were actually starting to pick up and I was losing track of time. I forgot that it was St. Patrick's Day today, which means it's also Tyler's birthday. Everyone comment. Happy birthday, Tyler. I'm sure he's doing something fun right now. Little did I know, Tyler was actually planning something. My mom and my stepdad just pulled up. That's right, Tyler's parents decided to fly in and surprise him for his birthday, and then he left the airport. But at this point in the video, I have absolutely no idea that that's happening, so I'm just gonna keep flying as usual. I don't know if I've disclosed this so far in this video, but I am terrified of flying. I hate flying. I hate flying. I hate flying. It's something I've had to get over for the past few years while making YouTube videos, but the next flight scares me more than anything we've done in the last four days. That little plane over there is called Cape Air. This plane has about six seats on it and they have to weigh me and my baggage at the gate. I reluctantly marched my way over to the front desk where I met this sweet lady named Carly. I'm actually yeah. terrified of flying. Oh, no, 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 you'll be okay. Don't be scared. We don't take any risks. Whatever that sweet lady said at the front desk earlier was rubbing off at this point. I was not happy. The comfort was definitely suboptimal given my leg room and the fact that I got motion sickness. And the flight was surprisingly pricey at $459. I would only fly Cape Air again if I absolutely had to. I'm gonna rate it C tier. And when I landed, I got a call from somebody that I hadn't spoken to in days. What's up, bro? That doesn't look like the airport. No, I'm at the airport. Just tell me the truth, dude. Okay, I'll tell you the truth. I'm not in the airport and I rented a mansion in Malibu and I'm celebrating my birthday. And I left the airport hours ago. Go. You left me in the airport system. You're supposed to be my special forces, bro. I'm a special forces, bro. Like, the only reason you know where I am right now is because I want you to know. Now with Tyler gone, my morale was at an all-time low. But I still had a handful of airlines to try, including the most comfortable seat in the country. Next up was JetBlue, which didn't help one bit considering how janky these seats were. C tier. And even after this uncomfortable flight, I still had to go to the gym and get my workout in. It is 11.40 p.m. right now. If we are lucky, I think that there is a chance that we're done tomorrow. On day five, I started with... An Endeavor Air. My spirits were at an all-time low. I had been in the airport so long that my YouTube comments turned into just people talking about how they were seeing me in the airport. But I had this super sweet seatmate named Kathy that cheered me up. How would you rate me as a seatmate on a scale of 1 to 10? 10. I don't believe you, but that's sweet. I haven't showered in days. Endeavor is going right up there with Delta at A tier. But what was not A tier was racing around airports trying to find all these airlines. I got directions, got lost, asked for directions again, got stuck in a subway system. Welcome to the video. I'm in the box. Yeah. What's up, guys? Went up an escalator, went through TSA again, and then showed up at the wrong gate. All the way back oh there, my way. god. I was literal moments away from missing my flight, where in the moment where I needed them the most, they actually held the plane for me. But before I review Sun Country, Jack was flying Hawaiian Air. I am down horrendously bad. I was up late with E. coli poisoning, but we do it for you guys. We keep pushing. Pretty good water pressure. This might be the thinnest toilet paper of any airline. What am I supposed to wipe my butt with? Now the most important part. 
I will not be drinking the toilet water on this one. Eat here. I ended up getting free coffee, watching an entire movie, and sleeping through the entire flight all the way up to landing in Vegas. I'm impressed. I was so comfortable. The price was borderline unbeatable. Eat here. But whatever comfort I experienced on Sun Country, I was about to throw out the window literally. Have you ever heard of Alaska Airlines? That clip that came out recently where the emergency door flies off the side of the plane. I'm gonna board Alaska Airlines, but not only that, I'm gonna book the exact same seat. Dude, you're so brave. No, thank you. So thank you so much. So Somebody over there said that I was brave so for doing brave. that. Now it looks like I'm making it up. And before I got on this flight, I wanted to see if other people were as nervous as I was. Did you happen to see the video of the door flying off of an Alaska plane? Oh yeah, we're getting on the same kind of plane. I booked the exact same seat that that door flew off of. I might need you to hold my hand. We'll cut all the way. Mafia moves, out. Before I boarded the Alaska flight, I needed to check in with a certain cameraman. Yo. What are you doing? I'm at the beach, bro. Did you not understand the rules of the whole video? Bro, I've been going home with that. I'm about to get on an Alaska. So this might be the last time we'll ever talk. If you do die, can I have the channel? That's what I figured. You trying to make kissy faces at me right now? All right, he's mogging me. Before I knew it, it was time to board, and I made my way to the seat. Seat, 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 seat. I wanted to see if I was the only one scared of losing my life, so I asked my seatmates what they thought. Are you scared of violently getting sucked out of the plane mid-flight? Well, I wasn't until now. At the peak of my anxiety, I met this guy named Mike. I used to be scared of mine as well. And you guys are actually choosing to sit in exit room. The safest place to be is after an accident in an airplane. We spent the entire flight talking, and I think that was his way of trying to make me feel comfortable. <laughs> He also lives in Alaska and spent the entire flight showing me pictures of moose in his front yard. And before I knew it, we were landing the plane. I'm sorry for all that stuff I said when we were taking off. No, it's fine. Well, it's fine now. Thank you for your understanding. Mike, we did it. We did it. I'm doing kind of like the Oscars for airlines. I had an award called Best Person to Sit Next To. Maybe just pose like you're holding an award and I'll Photoshop it in there. Mike said that we can come hang out with him anytime in Alaska. So if you guys have any ideas for us to do in Alaska, just put it in the comments. Yeah. Right on this. Mike, now you really want me to die. We have a friend out there now and the Alaska flight attendants made me part of their family. Alaska Airlines is A tier. At this point, it was about 4 o'clock in the morning and I fell asleep in some random lounge. Overnight, Jack completed two more flights. Mukulele started out hot, but then my second flight with them, they canceled it. F tier. Lanai Airlines was a private jet only for $169 S tier. We've got some business to discuss. This next airline's catchphrase is fly private for the cost of commercial. And they're not exaggerating on the price. My ticket cost $146. One of the cheapest tickets for the entire video video for the nicest seat. It doesn't make any sense. I finally made my way out to the plane where I met the pilot named Reeves. Reeves is only 24 years old and he's the pilot of this plane. He was even cool enough to let me put a GoPro in the cockpit and before I knew it, we were off the ground. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seats in here. Plus the pilots are right there. We got a pullout table here. We got a phone over there. Looks like we got a little recline here. I think for the first time in this video, I'm just going to sit back and enjoy this experience. We flew for about an hour and a half on this plane. Reeves got a hold of the GoPro and got some sweet shots for you guys. If there is such thing as an S tier airline, this was it. Free snacks, amazing service. Boutique Airlines is S tier. Reeves, I'm very appreciative of your service today. I have something for you. It is best captain award. It's kind of broken. It broke in my bag, but you can hold it together. Well, what's your acceptance speech? I have nothing to say. You have nothing to say. But there's one more flight that I've been looking forward to for seven days straight. It has been rated the most luxurious domestic flight, and it is the only thing that has kept me going over the past week. But I couldn't help but feel like something was off. I actually tried to film the intro for this plane. Scene. And it felt weird doing it, so I called Tyler to talk. What's up, man? You look like you've been living in the airport for a f***ing year, not five days. You look very unwell. Your beard is f***ing. Did you take a shower or anything? There's no showers in the airport? Tyler and I ended up talking on the phone for a while, and it was sort of in this moment that I realized that something actually was wrong. <laughs> I don't know why I'm emotional right now. Oh. Um, I was just thinking about all of the people that we've met over the last six days. They remind me so much of my own friends and family. I'm walking around the airport and I get this video from my friends. We're in a hot tub in Malibu with all my friends. Uh, this guy joined me. Do you want to explain why you weren't at the video? I'm still pretty sick, so it's hard for me to explain it right now. And it makes me think about the fact that I've actually been gone for so long. Not just the six days that I've been doing this video, but the four years that I've been doing YouTube. And it makes me think of my mom. My mom's name is Jean. She is the coolest lady I've ever met. Since I was a little kid, I've wanted to do YouTube. And there's, and there's not a person that has supported me 
in whatever I want to do more than my mom, Jean. And since I really started grinding on YouTube, I have not seen her nearly as much as I should. I th well, what I'm trying to say is I think I decided that I'm going to cancel my flight home and book the first flight I possibly can to go find my mom. So I ended up giving up the best seat in the country, but at this point, it didn't really feel like a sacrifice. And I'm going to be honest, after flying 30 flights in a week, it's all the same. The thing I feel like I learned over the last seven days was not which airline is the best in the U.S. I learned that if you're lucky enough to still have a mom, you should call her. Or if you can, book a flight. Oh my god, <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Ew, oh my god. I canceled my flight and then I came to see you because I missed you so much. When I came here. I miss you so much. Do you want to rank American Airlines with me? I don't like American Airlines. They have lost my luggage five times. What would you give them on a tier list? Spirit oh. is probably F. Right? Okay. What's right about that? E. Okay. <laughs> American Airlines E tier. Let's go spend some time together, huh? You want to say the line? You mean your outro? We're leaving now. No. <laughs> what is it? Gotta go now. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I'm leaving. That's pretty much it. I'm Sick. leaving.